I'm Chance, and welcome to my Wild Stringed and Guitar DVD video lesson. And that demonstration you just saw was an example of rigato technique, and an, it was an exercise called Smooth Operator. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to talk a little legato. Legato in music means long or smooth, and in guitar parlance or guitar vocabulary for our purposes, it simply means, or is generally accepted as, meaning playing a long sequence of notes only using hammer-ons and pull-offs and only in other words only picking one note on a string hence the demonstration so if you notice I only picked the first note and then all the way down it was just hammer-ons until I got to the next string in which I did a pick and so forth in sequential patterns, if you will. So, a lot of players labor under the misconception that their left hand is a lot better than their right hand because their left hand can flap around at relatively high rates of speed, but when they try to pick that same passage, they can't. Well, that's not the reason. The reason is because the left hand is not under strict and set tempo. <laughs> Try to pick that same sequence. A lot harder. Um, as you can see, when I tried to flap around, it was just a little easier, except when you tried to pick it. So even I need to work on this technique, and that's what this video's for. So the number one hint to good legato is to practice with timing, a metronome, backing track, or band that is in time and to practice your legato scales in a strict time tempo will definitely whip that left hand into shape and that's what we're talking about so um believe it or not most listeners like the sound of legato over legato technique over the picking and it's strange that a lot of players who listen to rock guitarists like edward van halen joe satriani george lynch tend to pick a lot more of their notes than their idols and legato needs to be loud, bold, and defined. It can't be weak. And it makes sense because most guitar players are right-handed. So the right hand tends to be able to keep up more. Hence, point number one again, practice with timing. Point number two, make sure your legato is strong and bold. All right. The demonstration you saw, you'll be able to get a lot of mileage out of that because you can, once you learn it, you'll be able to pick every note. Two, you'll be able to pick the first note, hammer on all sequential notes, and pick each note on each string. And then three, you'll actually be able to hammer on all notes without ever picking at all. And that's actually a goal I'm going for. It's much harder than you'd think. And once you learn it, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, well, let's get into the meat of the thing. Let's learn this.